Deej. Was uh, everything all right at the mall? Yeah, fine. Uh, Deej, don't you think we should talk? OK. So how'd you bowl? No, not about that. I mean, what's going on with you? I know you're having some kind of problem. Dad, give me a break. It's no big deal. Yeah, since when is a mega crisis nothing? Mega crisis? Where did you get that? Oh, I, I don't know. It just, it just kind of popped into my head just now. You mean you just popped into my sock drawer and went through my personal property? How could you do that? It was an accident. I was putting away your laundry. It's not Monday. <laughs> you were spying on me, and you know it. What was I supposed to do? You wouldn't even talk to me. Maybe it was none of your business. What's next? Are you going to bug my phone? Hey, I don't like that tone, young lady. Well, I don't like you invading my privacy. I'm your father. I'll invade Normandy if I want to. <laughs> Look, just stay out of my sock drawer and stay out of my life. You get back here right now, DJ. I can't wait to get out of this house. Hold it right there. I'm not through talking to you yet. I'm through listening. You see, you don't even knock. You have no respect for my personal space. Don't you dare tell me about respect. You're yelling at me and slamming doors. What happened to my sweet little girl? Don't you get it? I am not your little girl anymore. Oh. OK. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Dad, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. I just meant that I'm growing up. I don't need to come to you with every little problem. Why not? You used to tell me everything. That's when I was a kid. When you were my age, did you go tell your parents everything? No. They were old. <laughs> they were my age. <laughs> Look, Dad, if there's some serious problem that I can't handle, I'm going to come to you, just like I always did. And I'll be here for you, Deej. I know you will, Dad. I love you. I love you, too. You know, I'm sorry. I should have never read that card. Besides, switching laundry day threw off my whole cleaning schedule. It's OK. So you really want to know about my mega crisis? Hey, I don't want to pry. I'm dying to know. Well, see, I got this rep as the worst kisser in the school. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Dad, that is not a good thing. Oh, right. That's bad. Right. You see, I never even kissed this guy, but he started spreading this ugly rumor. So Kimmy and I tracked him down at the mall. Kimmy got him in a headlock, and I threatened him with a squirt bottle of mustard until he told everybody the truth. <laughs> well, he did the right thing. You know, those stubborn mustard stains are murder to get out. <laughs> Deej. I know you're kind of busy right now, but wouldn't it be nice if we could both set aside some time just to hang out with each other once in a while? Sure, Dad. Let's go get some frozen yogurt. My treat. Do you mind if I drive? I'm going to get my learner's permit in a couple months. Oh, man, it never ends. I'll tell you what, I'll drive. You can work the radio, OK?